Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Variant. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. This is Shahabashah speaking. Verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. When we focus on variance, in the Strong's G thirteen sixty nine, dechadzo, dechadzo, and it means to cut into two parts, cleave asunder. So, referring back to Matthew ten and thirty five, what promotes this separation? John 3 and 5, Yahweh answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Being born again promotes this separation. The teachings of Yahweh Shai promotes this separation. Matthew 10 and 7. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, we are able to depart from a spiritual standpoint. We are no longer connected with having desires within this world because we are born again. And therefore, we are out of the congregation of the dead. And due to this process, hence Matthew 10 and 35, the separation amongst us and our families and former friends. For Yahweh's namesake. Okay. So we are not going to get along because at the end of the day, we know how their living is wrong. And regarding us, they think they know. But they have no clue. Verse 36, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Why? Because of this doctrine. This teaching being about our father's business because you are no longer the old you. You are that new creature within Yahweh Shai. And this promotes what? Resistance. And Satan hops on them to hinder us from fighting the good fight. Verse 37, he that love father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that love son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Right. So at the end of the day, it's about this truth first. So we have to forsake them and fulfill our obligations as being prophets. 
Now, that doesn't mean if your father and your mother and your wife need something and you neglect it. No, you handle your business on both ends of the spectrum. But at the same time frame, your life, your mindset is supposed to be centered around this truth. You take care of your family, you take care of your kids, but you make sure at all times you fulfill your obligations as being a prophet. Matthew 19 and 27, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Right. So, Lord, will we continue in the path of Peter so we can be saved and not only called, but called and chosen. That's what it's all about. Lord, will. Now, this is the big payback. Verse 28. And Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and that's literal, and shall inherit everlasting life, and that's literal. Verse 38, And he that take not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. And this comes with Bearing your cross. Hence, Matthew 10 and 35. Verse 39. He that find his life shall lose it. And he that lose his life for my sake shall find it. And I'll read that again. He that find his life shall lose it. So our family members are going to forever remain plugged in the system if the Most High doesn't give them that clean heart. And that's okay. But we know what we have to do. And Lord will, by us putting our best foot forward, He'll have mercy on our families. And he that lose his life for my sake shall find it. And that's what we have done. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, beginning, beginning with the apostles. Okay, we understand that this system is finished. Okay, two major prophecies are only left. Hence, the mandate of the microchip and World War III. Peace be multiplied. Shalom.